Welcome to this video. Now in this video, we come back to the cloud database example, which I showed you initially. So if you remember in the first lessons, we talked about cloud database in which we discussed that we can move our values to the cloud. And here I'm using Google MySQL, so cloud on Google server. So we can store these values in Google cloud server, and then we can retrieve the values wherever we want in any country we want, because now the database is on the internet X, uh, instead of localhost. So how we can do that? So let's see first example in which I am using this global cloud database. <laughs> Sometime I'm fumbling. Okay, so I have this factory environment here and I have my dashboard here. So let's see what is happening. Here you can see it says cloud database. Database name is training. Database table name is tank level cloud. The parameters below are stored in Google Cloud Database. So if these are the pattern which, which you can see here, fill wall, draining wall, these are stored in the cloud. So this is I'm reading from the cloud, not from local MySQL, no. And here you can see local database. So if you see fill value, drain value, zero, zero, and there's a button which says copy cloud parameters to local parameters and send to the factory. Okay, let's see one example. Initially, I am controlling my fill wall and drain wall locally, and you can see there it's 35 percentage. So here it is 3.5 and discharge is 1.9. So these are the local parameters going to the factory. Okay, so here you can directly control whatever you want to do in your factory. This we know that we have done that before. And now these are the cloud parameters. Let's say I set cloud parameters to 32% of fill valve and 51% of drainage wall. And here you can see uh, presently it's 43 and 60. So I set my cloud parameters and that you can do from anywhere. If you have cloud details, you can do from any country. So this part you can do remotely from anywhere. This is the local part. So once the cloud part is set like this one, I click the button, copy cloud parameters and you can see these values will come here, here and now I'll say send to factory. So when I click send to factory, it's immediately set to 32% of filling and 51% of draining. Again, if I change the cloud parameters, let's say 79 and 51, copy cloud parameters and send to factory. Now it's 79%. So in this way, the parameters are being moved from cloud to local and from local to your factory. So if I show you my, um, again, okay, once we send to the factory, in this example, the control is back to the local. So local can actually control it. So once you send it to the factory, it's just once, but it also depends on how you control your program. You can also make it in such a way that you change to the cloud and instantly it changed to everywhere where the local parameters are being used. So I'm gonna show you again, if this is local 57 and 40, so you can see that it's 57 and 40. And if I show you my, my table, it's 57 and 40 as well. This is my local database. And if I show you my cloud database, 37 and 51. Actually, this is uh, going into my cloud server and that is defined here, which you have, uh, which you will see in the next videos, how we can make a cloud database. So I also made a database named training in the cloud. And in this database, I'm moving and reading the values. We'll see that in detail in the next videos. But the idea here to understand is how the value is moving from, oh, where's my screen again? Yeah, how the value is moving from local database to a cloud database. So here is my Google database, this local database, and then you have a factory below that. So actually my local database is connected to Siemens PLC. So Siemens PLC is getting the values in the end. So if you wanna show you once again, I will show you my tags. And you can see it's 5.7 and 4.0. And I will go to my cloud database and I change it to 23, 20, 23 or 41 copy cloud parameters, send to factory. So once I do send to factory, you can see this 2341 are in the PLC. So PLC is further on controlling my factory app. This, you know that every time I'm using this way of communication. So let's see in the next video about how this is done, how to configure your cloud parameters and link it to your local node red. So see you in the next video. Bye.